everybody, and welcome to Weekly with Coach V. I am Dakeisha Pierce. I am a Christian life coach, and this is my YouTube channel. And I have a video today, and we're going to talk about the content of Give It to Daddy, right? Um, I was reading a Max Licata book a little while back, and I don't know if you know, but Abba means father. And what I love about that is the fact that God is our father. And throughout scripture, you'll hear him referred to as Abba. But what I learned from the Max Lucado book is that Abba is actually more equivalent to daddy. It's a more close and intimate kind of father, right? I have a fantastic father who is also the world's best daddy. And so I have a very good example of what a father should be. And when I think about God and the father that we have in him, it is a beautiful thought. So I saw a little kid the other day kind of running and playing, and it made me think about the times where you've seen children kind of run with scissors, or they might run and they have some sharp object in their hand, or they have something that can drop and that might hurt their foot or, or things of that nature. And I remember thinking about you hear the parents say, a lot of times you'll hear the mother say, or you'll even hear the father say, hey, give it to daddy. You know, no, come on, come on, baby, give it to daddy. And that is because the parent wants to protect the child, right? So I thought about that. And I recognize that how much in our life should we give to daddy, right? How many things are we struggling with? Are we trying to make our way in and just trying to get it together to be a certain way and we're trying to be grown? And you think about the child that has the, the knife or they have the scissors and they're walking with the bowling ball or whatever that they're going to drop on their toe. And you see that the child has the mischievous kind of grin where they're like, do I really want to give this to daddy or do I want to handle this myself, right? So think about that. The next time you're wrestling with something that might be dangerous or might be too heavy to hold or could be something that can cause you great harm or despair, remember, just give it to daddy. God is the most ultimate father who wants to protect you. He wants to make sure that you, you know, have the least amount of trial unless that trial is going to make you better. His end goal is to always see you better. His love is amazing. It is far beyond anything that we can think or imagine. So I want you to think about that this week. If you're dealing with loved ones that are ill. You're dealing with a tight deadline at work. Uh, you're dealing with a situation that might be financial. Whatever the situation is, give it to daddy. God's got your back. He's got you. He's got you covered. He has you covered in a way that you can't even imagine. So why wrestle with the scissors? Why carry the bowling ball? Why should you deal with this by yourself when you have such an amazing father? Take advantage of it. Go to him. Pray. Ask him for his guidance and the things that he wants to see happen in your life. He wants us all to be successful. And that's the reason why we come up against certain things. That's why we have trials and tribulations. That's so that we can grow from them and we can get better. So instead of trying to manage it yourself, instead of trying to handle it your own way, I invite you this week to give it to daddy because he loves you and he wants to protect you and he wants to see you grow. And in doing that, as you continue this week, I want you to remember that and I also want you to remember to believe, move, and grow. Until I see you next week, thank you very much and happy.